A partnership for national unity held the first meeting of its executives on Tuesday. It was at that meeting that former President David Granger resigned as the chairman and Joseph Harmon also resigned as its general secretary. Leader of the People's National Congress Reform, the largest party in the APNU, Aubrey Norton, has taken over leadership of the coalition of opposition parties. In addition to Granger, Harmon and Norton, also present at the meeting were Jaipal Sharma of the Equal Rights and Justice Party, Vincent Henry of the Guyana Action Party, Tabitha Sarbo Haley of Guyana Nation Builders, and Keith Scott of the National Front Alliance. A statement from the party said the executives of the coalition requested that Harmon continues as General Secretary for a period of seven days to facilitate the smooth transition to a new General Secretary. However, Granger demitted office with immediate effect. The newsroom understands that the accord, which is the rule book for the APNU coalition, reportedly mandates that whoever is the leader of the PNCR should also be the leader of the APNU. But there were reported efforts by Harmon and others to now recommend an election of a new chairman. That position was challenged by the Norton-controlled Central Executive Committee of the PNCR. Granger's resignation as chairman of the APNU is seen as a move that represents a further loss of power for Harmon. Harmon has been confronted with weekly maneuvers from party comrades to give up the post as opposition leader. Norton controls the PNCR CC. It is that body that is currently applying pressure for Harmon to give up the post as leader of the opposition. Three weeks ago, the CAC of the PNCR agreed that Norton must get a seat in the National Assembly and become the country's opposition leader. But even then, Harmon resisted the idea. But although Granger has resigned as chairman of the APNU, he remains representative of the APNU AFC list, wielding enormous power still in the APNU AFC coalition. It is Granger who has the power to recall members of parliament and appoint new ones, but Norton has not been able to engage Granger on this front to date. The CC also believes that Norton should be representative of the list, a post that Granger can continue to hold until the next regional and general elections unless he resigns. Harmon had hoped to be co-opted to the Central Executive Committee, but with almost 10 persons already co-opted, Harmon remains on the outside of the major decision-making body at the party level.